you could call me an astronomer. When you look into the sky, you can see anything. But what I saw got me into big trouble. Oh, Dad is playing the lute again. He is brilliant at music. Always writing songs and whistling tunes. It drives my mad. Oh, no, no, again. Mind you, she's uh, generally a little bit grumpy at the moment. And look at me, little Galileo. Oh, I'm so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I am the first baby in this house. There will be six more after me. None of them interesting. Another special thing about me. I was born on the most exciting day of the year. Christmas Day. If I was in your class, I'd be... Oh, let's see now. 362 years old. <laughs> Probably the oldest boy in your school. <laughs> no, uh, definitely. We live on a farm in Lincolnshire. I hate farms. Ugh, gravity. It's almost as if there's a giant magnet inside the earth pulling everything towards it. Even on the other side of the world, my apple would still fall down. This great thought of mine, this gravity, was a brand new discovery and it was a totally different way of looking at the world. If you have a brainwave, do you tell everyone about it? I do. No, I don't! I mean, why should other people be allowed to nick your best ideas? Here's an idea for a parachute. And are some people with super ugly faces. Ugh. And because I wanted to keep my ideas a secret, I invented a mirror writing that no one could read except me. This is a famous drawing from my notebook. It's called The Vitruvian Man. It was my way of working out how the body fits together. For example, do you know? that if you lie on the floor with your arms stretched as far out to the sides as you can, that is the same length as how tall you are. Try it. Go on. See for yourself. <laughs> After a long hunt, we found Australia. But that wasn't new. Some Dutch bloke had stopped by before us, but we liked it a lot. Father Jim and Father Wilfred. Important for prayers on deck and converting anyone we meet to become a Newcastle United fan. I mean, sorry, Christian. Yeah, Christian. Sorry, Wilf. A letter from the court. Dear Vasco de Gama, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't forget to take some presents for people you meet on the journey. Blah, blah, blah. Take some nice jewels. What? Beautiful gold pots, blah, blah. Little spiced anchovies. Silver bangles? No way. This is too expensive. I'm not going to be bothered to go shopping for presents like a, like a, like a big girl. Did someone say maps? <laughs> because I am the chap with the map. This one is the one you recognize. This is the map they had. So when Columbus said he wanted to go west, not east, well, how would you react? <laughs> What's so funny? My idea is to go west across the sea and find a new way to Asia. At the court of the King of Portugal, it didn't go down well at all. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> the Lord saith no. Your crackers, Columbus. <laughs> I wonder what's for supper. The strange thing is that during my life, no one understood my way of painting or my way of seeing things. But today, more than 100 years after I lived, I'm one of the most famous painters in the whole world. And my paintings give so many people great pleasure and happiness. Hey, you should go and see them. Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs>